A group of non-governmental bodies is calling on the All Progressives Congress to respect the principle of separation of powers and allow members-elect of the 10th National Assembly choose their leaders. The coalition also calls on the incumbent government to promote devolution of powers. Tivas and EU senior correspondent Joki Adisa reports. Intense horse trading and political calculations are going on among members elect of the 10th National Assembly over who become leaders. This is in the aftermath of the ruling party's announcement of e zoning arrangement. A group of seven contestants, now known as G7, has not hidden its opposition to the party's stance. In the last three weeks, political alignments and realignments have not ceased among the legislators elect and their political leaders. APC's chairs of Tajuddin Abbas as speaker has received commendations and condemnation across the country. I greet once again the... This coalition of civil society groups belong to the latter as it says the independence of the legislature should not be compromised. Uh, uh, the Tenth Assembly leadership elections are crucial for consolidation of democratic uh, democracy and the rule of law in our country. They are also an opportunity for honorable members of elect uh, to elect their representatives who will make laws and oversee the executive branch of governance. Focusing on this is where this guy came from or she came from this uh, religion or she is practicing this religion or she's from this region. I don't think in Nigerian context at this juncture we are now in 21st century. We are beyond such kind of political jingoism. We are more than that at this stage. The non-governmental bodies are also concerned about unguarded comments from politicians and from international organizations and communities in the aftermath of the last election. And then they should make it open for everyone, even women. It should be open even for women. If there's a woman that has been sitting in the house for as long as, for instance, as I mentioned, the, the Senate's um, standing order, then she should be uh, uh, um, capable, she should be competent enough to run because one of the things that will be working in her favor is as experience. And so that should always be our guiding principles. Administration is going to be full of Democrats. No, no, I mean, neither the president-elect nor the vice president-elect was a military officer at one time or the other. These people are Democrats from the word go. So they should promote democracy. Democracy is our baby, which we must not kill. The coalition urges the incoming Bolatinumbu led government to run an all inclusive administration and give a sense of belonging to every region, ethnic, religious, and political affiliations. Jokets, TVC News, Abuja.